And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Here we are again another day committed to picking a fight with the mainstream media and providing you the timely truth centered around your real estate credit finance estate plans tax plans and so much more you're listening to the consumer quarterback show our number one goals are to educate entertain enlighten but we want to make sure that we engage with you in an effort to help you win the only thing i'm addicted to right now is winning save our hotline number in your phone because at some point you may need it 813-670-7372 you used to call me on my cell phone 813-670-7372 and we want you to bookmark our website, consumerqb.com. A plethora of information available for you on our website. I implore you to please check out our website, consumerqb.com. Uh, you can submit a form there. There's an email form that comes directly through to our team. Any questions, comments uh, you may have on the show. Uh, you can also click on the Expert Contributors tab, and you can see 80-plus show partners there where we have all of our expert contributors, CPAs, financial advisors, several different types of attorneys with different specializations, all types of real estate and mortgage experts uh, available there, uh, home inspectors, lots of different companies that will uh, help you uh, avoid a lot of the commission-based advice. We don't care if you're climbing a corporate ladder, if you throw a ladder in your truck on the way to work. This show is for you. Back in studio, Ruth Watkins, Team Go Loans. How are you doing in. today, Brandon? Excellent. Doing well. <laughs> Me too. If I see through my glassy allergy eyes, so pardon that. <laughs> so the allergies are kicking in. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I have to take an allergy pill every day. Most of the time it handles it. But uh, I'm glad to be here, glad to educate and help inform. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, local mortgage expert, you know, shop local, work with your local bank or your yep. local, uh, you know, lender here. Find an here. expert. Yes, find an expert. Always find an expert. That's it. Yeah. Uh, TeamGoLoans.com, Ruth Watkins. Also, Chris Hatfield uh, making his debut to the Consumer Quarterback Show, filling in for the 10 man today, are you? Yeah, I'm filling in for Fred Muth today. Yeah, Tampa Screens and Aluminum. So welcome in. Thank you very much, Brandon. Appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. So you're on the design and sales side as well. Absolutely. Been doing this my whole life. Third generation builder. Uh, built every pool cage you could imagine and worked my way right up to sales. Nice. Very cool, man. That's awesome. Uh, so uh, is welcome a place in. to be. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice to get off the roof and get into a polo and some air conditioning every now and again. Yeah, there you go. That's right. So helping people with that, what we kind of talk about is the in-between space. So not it's not in the AC, it's not in the, the direct humidity of the outside, but it's a screened in, uh, many cases screened in uh, lanais and, and patios. It's how to enjoy that outdoor Florida living that everybody talks about. We only get a little bit to enjoy, but you got to keep the skeeters away from you. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So we're going to talk about that. We have also a uh, 11 things to do indoors on a rainy day in Tampa Bay. We figured we'd throw that one in the mix. So we get to guess? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll talk about it. And then uh, we have our feel-good story of the week. Packers running back pushes elderly woman in wheelchair at El airport. So, as you know, I'm the owner of Platinum MVP Realty and a top listing agent here in Tampa Bay. We're looking for real estate agents to recruit to our team. Uh, we've got a lot of leads coming in, a lot of resources available uh, for our real estate agents. So, we'd love to have a confidential interview. Uh, anyone you know of that is in real estate, we'd love to talk to them. And I've got a hot listing here on Clearwater Beach. This is 1370 Gulf Boulevard, number 401, Clearwater Beach. This is a great listing, one point. One seven five million dollars over twenty two hundred square feet, three bedroom, three bath property here. Compliments of Platinum MVP Realty, hot listing in beautiful Clearwater Beach. Go check it out. Yeah, we got Braylin here in studio as well. She's off school uh, for the summer. School's out for the summer. I feel like we need that. that Too cool for school. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we need that uh, that button on the bar here. But So we got an event coming up, but she's going to help us uh, promote this event. It's uh, a really cool event coming up just in like 20 days away. Uh, it's a great event coming up, raising money for underprivileged children here in Tampa Bay. So what do you got there, Bray? So the event is the, called the Ken Shamrock Keynote, benef and it's benefiting the Ian Beckles Foundation. Um, if you believe in providing support for underprivileged children, this is the event for you. Um, this event will be hosted at Fire Station Number 5 on Thursday, June 21st at 4.30 p.m. Not only will this 
event benefit the good, but of course it will be super fun. Yay! Yeah. Super right. fun. Nice event. We're going to do a live radio show broadcast there. We're going to have all of our expert contributors. Most of our expert contributors will be there as well. We're doing a live radio show broadcast. Uh, we have catered food going to be provided by our catering partner, uh, Amici's Catered Cuisine. Awesome, awesome food. They're going to do a pasta bar there. So it's going to be uh, the red sauce, white sauce, spicy vegetables. You're going to have sausage, chicken, shrimp choices available. Uh, we are also going to be uh, having a cat cash bar available as well. So we're going to have a cash bar. The alcohol is being sponsored by St. Pete Distillery. So thank you to those folks over there at St. Pete Distillery as well. Uh, it's going to be a cash bar. $20 is the entry. <laughs> so for 20 bucks, you get your first drink, you get food, you get great networking, and you get to meet our business partner, Ken Shamrock, uh, over at his keynote. And you get to hear his story of how he became the world's most dangerous man, the UFC Hall of Famer. So great event coming up. So come check it out. Out, go to eventbrite.com grab your ticket 20 bucks is the ticket price now and uh, you have an opportunity to come out and network with with uh, some really awesome business owners here uh, in tampa bay brio tuscan grill is our official restaurant partner brio tuscan grill at the international plaza 2223 northwest shore boulevard in tampa uh, brio tuscan grill they offer a Special to our listeners and fans of the show, all you have to do is mention the show and walk into Brio. Let them know that you are a fan of the Consumer Quarterback Show, and they're going to hook you up with a free appetizer. So they got also a brunch going on now, Saturdays and Sundays until 3 p.m. They've got some really good brunch entrees available, omelets and more, scrambled eggs and bacon, Sicilian omelet, berries and cream, French toast, vegetable omelet, ham and biscuit and Benedict, shrimp and grits, of course, as well. <laughs> so uh, awesome stuff over at Brio. Brio Tuscan Grill, our official restaurant partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. All right, let's jump right into it. We got Ruth Watkins, who has a ton of knowledge around the real estate space, uh, the mortgage industry specifically as well, pre-qualifying buyers, helping them get into their homes, uh, helping people, of course, with refinances as well, yeah. all types of loan products. You got the conventional, the VA, the FHA, uh, and, and some of the other USDA. programs. USDA. Mm -hmm. USDA as well, another 100% more rural type of a finance yeah, problem. It, you don't have to be rural. It's, it's more so now like for example hernando used to be if you were hernando all the community qualified it didn't matter if you were in the middle of a busy subdivision now they've changed it to more zip code oriented or specific homes so like pasco county you can forget it it's not usda eligible so you just have to maybe land of lakes or lakeland or places like that out in that area you just type in the address and you could potentially qualify even though it's not a rural property so you just look it up on a certain website, it's going to say yeah, this is going to qualify Yeah, you just type in not. USDA eligibility, property eligibility, and it'll pop up and you can put the address in. Okay. And it'll tell you if it's eligible or not. Interesting. And, and some of the condos, too, you, the question comes up, will they accept uh, VA? You okay. Know, VA condos. Yeah, that's a whole other animal. I can break down condos really easily for you. If you're a conventional borrower, it has to be a warrantable project. And in order to be a warrantable project, it has to have a questionnaire completed. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a limited questionnaire or a full questionnaire depends on LTV, meaning how much money you're putting down versus what your loan amount is. Yep. So if it is a limited questionnaire, you can get away with, say, not having 10% reserves. But if it's a full uh, questionnaire, it's going to have to be on point at every question like no litigations no uh significant delinquencies in hoa dues no um you know they have to have 10 percent reserves to cover their community uh they can't exceed a percentage of renters in there yeah, so investors, it has to be more, renters, yep. yeah and uh one investor can't own more than 10 of the you know units mm -hmm. so that's what they look at to make it a warrantable if it's fha it has to be on an approved list so if you're interested in a condo you can simply go to FHA approved condos and it'll pop up and you can put in the county. You can peruse the the uh, projects that are currently approved and you'll see actually reject, reject, reject. And then you'll see the one in between that is VA is the same way. OK, um, if they're not approved on that list, you know, most lenders aren't going to go that route to make it approved. You know, it's just not there. So you can't do the loan. Um, if it is not warrantable, let's say it doesn't fit Fannie Mae, now you have to go outside of that box and go into the non-warrantable um, program, which is going to be outside of um, that qualifying. So you can think of it 
like programs like foreign national, non warrantable condos. It's it's an off, you know, type of loan. Yeah. So it's a one off type deal. Right. If I'm going to have a borrower that say it is a conventional borrower, because it's really easy if they're not on the list of the other programs, but when it comes to a conventional, you don't know mm -hmm. if it is. So before I even take a loan app, I make sure to get that questionnaire because there's nothing worse than. Right. Then, you know, going down and finding out you have a questionnaire problem. And one thing, I'm not really political, but I believe that this should be stopped. Uh, where's the loophole that allows the condo associations to charge you $150 or $250 for a questionnaire that they should auto ready, auto re yeah. automatically know, right? Right. They yeah. should already know that. And the yeah. homeowner that's selling the home is paying the homeowner association due. So why isn't that covered in there? Yeah, exactly. And why is it that a buyer has to spend their money out of pocket to find out if that project even qualifies? Would qualify, even if it's an that's opportunity. Wrong. Yeah, that's it is. Wrong. It is wrong. We need to maybe we we start do? something, a petition or something. Yeah, <laughs> let's 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 write the governor. Let's let's yeah. get him on the horn here. Uh, so Sounds so yeah, good. it's it's but it's so some of those common sense things are in there and, and it's just like wow, all they have to do is fill out this form, but they probably already have it filled out on file yeah or and, online as long as you pay me the fee <laughs> yeah exactly all right stay with us here consumer quarterback show we're helping you win in any marketplace that's our goal of the show ruth watkins team go loans in the house chris hatfield tampa screens in aluminum as well as braylon joe here in studio as well we're gonna do our feel good story uh when we come back what's the feel good story today packers running back pushes elderly woman in wheelchair at airport all right stay with us consumer quarterback show consumerqb.com Hey, this is Grant Cardone, and you're listening to Consumer Quarterback Show, hosted by my friend Brandon Rhymes. Do not touch that dial. I'll come right through the radio and grab your throat. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372, online at ConsumerQB.com.
listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. All right, welcome back. Brandon Rhymes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, Platinum MVP Realty. Check out PlatinumMVPRealty.com. I'm a top listing agent here. We're looking for realtors to join our team. We'd love to uh, speak to any realtors that might be open to joining our team. And uh, we've got a couple of hot listings here in Tampa Bay. Uh, we're, we are uh, always adding new inventory to our listing inventory. So uh, we have a lot of listings and we'd love to talk to you about them and uh, help you uh, with that search as well. Home search, we got a great team. And uh, on the front end of that is, is in many cases, is Ruth Watkins here, Team Go Loans. Uh, she's helping us pre-qualify those buyers, getting them uh, into the field, getting them looking at properties and, and helping complete that that uh, pre-qualification, which is so important. We also have Chris Hatfield in studio as well, Tampa Screens and Aluminum. I want to give a shout out to our official hotel partner, which is Hotel Zamora on St. Pete Beach. Kipton's the Hotel Zamora on beautiful St. Pete Beach. It's a whitewashed Mediterranean palace, beautiful property. Uh, you've got the intercoastal on one side, uh, the waterway, the docks, the pool, the spa. You also have the uh, Gulf of Mexico. You walk across the street and you got the beautiful Gulf of Mexico uh, there as well. And they've got their own private beach set up uh, with a uh, another uh, restaurant down the road where they have a private beach. The rooftop 360 on the roof is gorgeous. you got some beautiful views overlooking the uh, intercoastal waterway and the Gulf of Mexico. Beautiful place here. And let them know the real estate quarterback sent you 20% off just by mentioning that you're a fan of the Consumer Quarterback Show uh, whenever you book your stay at Kipton's, the Hotel Zamora on beautiful St. Pete Beach. Somewhere, somewhere. All right, coming up, we have our feel-good story of the week and 11 things to do indoors on a rainy day in Tampa Bay. And uh, so, Ruth, I wanted to talk here as well because, you know, I'm recruiting agents to my team, my brokerage. I know you are yeah. in a position of recruiting uh, loan officers right now. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, well, to me, I, I'm always looking for talent. There's a mentality of um, of uh, people that want to do better than average. Right. And a lot of times doing better than average is kind of difficult when – you're faced, really, what we do is sales by nature, but it's still a profession. You have to know your profession. You have to be uh, comfortable with whatever questions someone throws at you and the knowledge that you need to adequately guide someone, yeah. you know? So um, that is like a really strong part of the puzzle. And a lot of times, uh, originators will go out there from the sales standpoint, and they fall short um, in being able to say, make that transaction smooth for someone because they can't foresee it's the same, you know, right. someone who took that job and what my team does or my philosophy has always been to take, um, and literally provide that foundational support that you can get the answer that you need to get the structure up front to get it to closing faster, to make you look good right. in front of your business partners, because let's face it, it's a business within a business, right. you know, period. It's your livelihood that you're building and you want to do it proudly and you want to be able to stand out amongst your competition and you want to create those relationships that are ongoing and years lasting. Yeah. And that's what's going to make your career sing. <laughs> Yeah, you know? absolutely. And, and avoid a lot of these last minute problems that you have. A lot of times you get into a contract, uh, you'll have, uh, oh, well, the, you know, the, the lender said they needed this or something showed up on credit last right. minute. And, uh, you know, recently had had a scenario like that on a, on a deal where I wasn't, you know, on the buy side, I was in a control. But, you know, it comes back and it leaves a bad taste in the seller's mouth. And mm -hmm. then all of a sudden now, you know, I was supposed to know all the details of this buyer side, tr you know, transaction. And, and I'm not, I'm on the listing side. Yeah. But right. sometimes clients don't care. They get pissed and they, they don't. Don't. And, yeah. and a part of the talent is being able to, and one of my uh, mentees calls it the roof pivot because yeah. it's not really about, you know, um, pivoting someone's uh, opinion, but it's about setting that expectation that's proper because they lose their mind. Right. So it's about saying, okay, here's the deal. Here's what it is. You set the expectation of how it's going to happen. And if there does arise a challenge, then you go about how you're going to resolve that challenge because let's face it, you know, things can, you know, all of a sudden you can pull that credit refresh and bam, there's a collection that wasn't there. Right. Okay. How are you going to stop that? Yeah. It's how you deal with it. Yep. You know, where do you go from there and how you deal with it and keep everybody calm and manageable? 
Yeah. You know? So so the inner workings of a loan, it's interesting when you look at that. So that scenario, when whenever they a day or two before closing, they're going to repull just to make sure That's nothing right. new's popped up. Yep. It's called a credit refresh. So it's not going to be a new inquiry, but it does compare to your original credit report. Right. And we're looking for that. That's why I, you know, did a show with you early, the 10 top things what not to do. Right. And one of those things was go out and apply for credit, open any accounts, buy furniture, do anything like that, we're gonna know about it. Yeah. Exactly, so, my loan officer said, he said yeah, as soon as we were do applying, it. stop. Don't yeah. do You're it. You're on out, mm -hmm. that's right. cash and that's it. Yeah, focus yep. and commit yourself to the process and just do that. Close and then do what you want. Yeah. You know? yeah, it's important not to bring on, you know, any new accounts, new, you know, open up. And, and then another one, another mistake people make sometimes is they pay off those old collection accounts. You want to talk well, about that, how yeah, that impacts? The thing is, um, people do that in a, in a misunderstanding that it will uh, raise their credit score. It really doesn't do anything to raise their credit score. Um, what it does do is stop that collection from continually reporting if it's on a current reporting basis. So had it reported a year or two years ago and stopped reporting, it might be a different status, like a charged off collection account that I'm not even going to care about anyway. But if it's a continual reporting account um, and you do pay it off, the only thing that's going to help you is the fact that it's not their reporting keeping your score down. But it's not a strategic way to get your score up now to qualify for something. Right. So the things that you're looking at from a credit standpoint is what are your credit cards? How high is your balances? Mm -hmm. You know, if your balances are high and, you know, you're over a percentage of, say, 35 percent or so right. um, in debt, it's going to affect your credit score. They want right. to see the fact that you have accounts, you manage the balances accordingly. So if you have credit and you use it and you can pay it off and you use it like uh, buy gas, buy groceries, something right. that you budgeted to pay cash for anyway, yep. and then pay it off at the end of the month, pay it off every single month. And that's gonna be probably one of the best things you can do. That's right, Mortgage Tips by Ruth Watkins here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. She's our local expert contributor in the mortgage space, uh, helping uh, lots of folks get into homes, helping them with home ownership and uh, leveraging her experience in the industry to help you avoid a lot of those mistakes out there. Yeah. Uh, you know, commission-based advice is out there still. Uh, and, and, you know, the point of the, the old collection accounts, you know, that that's a good point. What I've seen or, or talked to uh, William Crowley, our credit magician mm -hmm. as well, is that a lot of times older accounts, maybe it's a collection, maybe something old that's that could be left alone. If they pay it off, it's counterintuitive because now you're bringing that old account current. Well, you are. And in, in his line of work, what he's saying is that um, it does bring it current and it acknowledges that you're on your behalf. Right. You're acknowledging it because you paid it. Right. So in his situation, he's looking at cleaning up credit and you have better chances of getting things removed when they're old like that because chances are they don't even know where the paperwork is on that account. Right. And if they can't validate it, it has to be legally removed. Right. So if that's how they get that, that gone. Yeah. So, you know, if it's currently reporting, you can still ask them to validate that account if they can't prove it's yours they have to remove it yeah if if you do acknowledge it you've acknowledged it as your debt so that's basically kind of yeah good that point. angle like, and that's why you want to keep up on your credit and keep an eye on it is because mm -hmm. of things like that can pop up and you want to be able to make that application i've done it about four or five times yeah you want to constantly monitor make sure nothing new is coming up we uh in yesterday's show we had uh, Eunice on the show our insurance expert and she was talking about cybersecurity and, and business you know there's policies now for mm -hmm. uh, businesses and, and you know different examples that play out in that space uh, in the credit card space it's an interesting thing like they'll you know you've we've all heard people will buy that credit card debt collect on it at you know they'll buy it at pennies on the pennies, dollar yeah. literally you know eight nine twelve fifteen mm -hmm. cent on the dollar I've actually purchased some back in the day I did that I kind of tested it to see you know how that would work and, and there's there's column. companies <laughs> yeah and there's companies that will actually do all of that for you uh, but but it's interesting you know how that industry plays out but you know if you're if you're looking to buy real estate if you're looking to get pre-approved for a mortgage we want you to reach out to our local expert contributors uh, we have special incentives by utilizing the radio show partners uh, we're going to pay for your appraisal we'll, we'll you know maybe pick up a home warranty for you as well uh, any veterans out there we offer a quarter to a half point discount uh, rebate from the realtor side back to your closing costs right and what we will do is if you're ready to buy a home or even want to talk about buying a home and you're actually going to look we can do a, a finance first approval and then we will reimburse your appraisal fee 
So that could be applied to something else. And also we give a uh, quarter percent uh, bonuses to our serve and support um, job titles, you know, law enforcement, um, veterans, flight crew, et cetera. Yep. But I love to have a person that is already approved, ready to go. We have the conditions. All we need is a contract. Right. And then you get reimbursed your appraisal fee. And that's if you look at about an average of 500 bucks, that's a pretty good, uh, sweet rebate. Yeah, absolutely. It's just another way that we can help you here with the show, with our partners, uh, putting together these different p types of packages and programs to help you qualify for the home. You know, especially our renters out there, if you're renting, we want to get you into home ownership. It's such an important part of building your life's legacy and your wealth uh, and, and taking advantage of tax write offs. And, and there's so many uh, pieces to that story. We want to talk to you, uh, renters, especially out there. So reach out. We'd love to hear from you. Consumer Quarterback Show. You can check us out on consumerqb.com. And uh, when we come back, more from our expert contributors ruth watkins in the house uh chris hatfield also tampa screens and aluminum we're going to talk to him uh more about the design and sales process with the uh beautiful lanai's that they help you uh put onto your home or maybe even an office and we have our feel good story of the week coming up as well which is called the packers running back pushes elderly woman in wheelchair at airports all right stay with us consumer quarterback show consumerqb.com this is work done and you're listening to the real estate quarterback show hosted by my man brandon rhymes to get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372, online at ConsumerQB.com. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Listening to the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at consumerqb.com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, the consumer quarterback show, Platinum MVP Realty and a top listing agent here in Tampa Bay. Giving a shout out to our cleaning partner, which is Mary Maids. Let Mary Maids take care of your cleaning. We know clean, leave the details to us. Relax, it's done. Mary Maids will take care of your cleaning. They are the recipients of the Women's Choice Award, America's most recommended cleaning service. Satisfaction is guaranteed with Mary Maids, and they do a great job cleaning our real estate properties. We'd love for you to reach out to them. Let them know you heard them on the Real Estate Quarterback Show, the Consumer Quarterback Show here uh, in Tampa Bay, our number one uh, uh, goal is to help you live a better life and they will help you do that as well and uh, check out our new brochures that we have here we've got our, our brochures with all of our expert contributors on it different uh, companies that can help you 
uh, throughout your day and, and check us out on social media as well. And uh, the Consumer Quarterback Show, 80 show partners, CPAs, financial advisors, attorneys. Uh, we want you to think about this show as the hub of your financial, your business, your health wheel. Each spoke is standing out representing another one of our preferred partners uh, who we call our on-air expert contributors. These folks that uh, take time out of their busy schedule, they come in and they help us entertain and, and enlighten and engage uh, to help you live a better life. So uh, that's the goal of our show. Coming up, we have 11 things to do indoors on a rainy day. Uh, so there's some good ideas for you. Uh, lately, uh, we've been seeing our fair share of rain. And and uh, I want to let you know about a couple of hot listings here. Compliments of Platinum MVP Realty. We've got a property in South Tampa, 3911 West Euclid Avenue, uh, listing of mine here, $842,000, four bedrooms, three full bath, two half bath at uh, Euclid Avenue in Tampa. It's in the Plant High School District, one of the best uh, school zones in the uh, state, uh, according to a lot of people. You got 10 foot ceilings throughout, move in ready, beautiful, gorgeous home. And it's right on Euclid Avenue in South Tampa, a uh, beautiful property that we have there. Uh, we also have a property on Causeway Boulevard in Tampa. This one's uh, 5331 Causeway Boulevard. Now, this is a uh, three-bedroom, one-bath home, uh, but it's actually a commercial property. There's Zone Commercial M. Uh, it's accessible to the Seminole Expressway and a great buying opportunity here in beautiful Tampa Bay. Great, great listings available, and we'd love to help you with your listing as well. Uh, we're looking for inventory right now. It's still a low inventory market, and we are looking for inventory. Uh, we got Ruth Watkins in the house. TeamGoLoans.com, local mortgage expert, uh, contributor on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Also, Chris Hatfield, Tampa Screens and Aluminum uh, Design and Sales. He's filling in for Fred Muth today, This the tin man. What's, what's Fred doing? Is he out in the field getting it done? He's taking just about as many calls as I am. It's pretty much akin to being the uh, ice cream man out in front of an elementary school right now. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Staying busy. That's yeah. right. The phone doesn't stop ringing, so if he's the tin man, I guess I'll be the screen man. There you go. All right, so we got Chris Hatfield, aka the screen man, here uh, in the studio. So, so yeah, man. So you guys are, are helping uh, homeowners take advantage and add value to their homes. You know, that's the beauty of a lanai, uh, absolutely screened-in room. It adds thirty percent. I mean, everybody realizes the outdoor of the house is what adds thirty percent to that house. So, if you're wanting to do any type of a pool or anything like that in Florida, it's going to require a screen enclosure. And anybody mm -hmm. that has any type of a pool that doesn't have screen, they envy you. There's no doubt about it. They, they don't like it. cleaning the leaves out. They don't like fighting the bugs. We've tried to come up with every single evolution in the world, but screen is it. The screen will do it. That's screen right. will do it. And I, I like to hear some of Fred's stories, success stories with his clients. Uh, you know, number one, I know you guys take a consultative approach. You want to, you know, ask questions. You want to engage the potential prospect, the buyer, uh, on these different aluminum designs for the screen rooms and aluminum uh, buildings. Now, what are some of the coolest things you've done? I know Fred has a couple stories where he's done some really unique uh, screen rooms and cages. I don't come from much of a sales background. I actually come from the aluminum field. So I've come from the humblest beginnings. I've actually been a screener building these cages and I've worked on three story cages in wind, in hurricane areas. I've chased out to Hurricane Ike out in Galveston and done a bunch of that stuff. But since I got involved in the sales, I mean, it's definitely a little bit more of a timid life. It's not as, you know, being out on the job. But I definitely enjoy the ones where, you know, as sad as it is, customer loses an enclosure or gets it wiped out from a tree or this, that, and the other. I like getting in there and easing their concerns, yeah. letting them know that not only do I sell these, will I executive everything from the beginning to the end, but I've personally built these things. So right. I know what goes into it, and I'm able to tell them a little bit more and keep the process as clairvoyant as possible and get them right back to where they were before. Yeah, I like that. Now, Fred has talked about different designs. So he'll have, for example, uh, he, he's done a room where he had, for example, on one side, he had an actual aluminum, uh, the roof, the, the, the roof and the ceiling was, was closed off. And then on the other side, they wanted the, the sunlight and the rain to be able to come through. So you have some nice like tropical forest almost design there. And I get out to every single job and I don't treat it like, you know, this is the square footage or this is the max sale or this, that and the other. I really ask the customer, draw me out, figure out exactly what we're going to be using because I have to figure out with doorways. Wherever there's going to be a doorway, there's got to be an open 40 inch portal of lost space in there. So if we're only dealing with a smaller 12 by 12 enclosure, I like to reel a customer back sometimes and mm -hmm. tell them you don't want two doorways. You're going to lose half the enclosure. Show me what you're going to use in here. Right. Is that the patio chair we're going to use? We set some chairs up. We set mm -hmm. a couple things up and then figure out exactly what's going to work for them because everything is custom to what the customer
customer wants. Yeah. So on certain jobs, I've done privacy walls on one side. I can hang screen that looks just like the Bahamas in the background on another side. Put you a water feature and a beautiful outdoor grill all the way around. We can nice. do every last bit of it. I like that. Now, have you guys seen an increase with the you know the Trump tariffs? You know, with the aluminum, have you seen an increase on that? Most certainly. And, it, and mm -hmm. while he hasn't enacted a tariff, it, it's just the same as any other type of speculation. Uh, as soon as there's a meat on the bone, as soon as there's anything for these large distributors and, and metal companies to get something, they come right at us with a, a little bit of a price increase. Now, yeah. we always get a little bit of a price increase each year, but this year to have two of them back to back, uh, you could tell that the news definitely, uh, what I like to call the Humpty Dumpty effect. Yeah. Everybody that was holding on to their wallets and thinking, I'm not going to budget it this year. Mm -hmm. They're afraid of it, you know, aluminum costing what gold's going to cost next year. And it's right. not going to get that bad. They've already hit us with a little bit of an increase. And I would say 3% would be really all we'd anticipate. Yeah. Because the materials aren't everything on the job. There's overhead, there's labor, there's a lot of other things that go into the job. Right. So the materials are not everything. So even if the materials were going to take a 20% tariff, it's not saying your enclosure is going to go up 20%. So ha has that hit yet, or you're saying it's just speculation? The speculation has already hit, absolutely. Wow. They sent out every single distributor that we have has sent out one pamphlet and another. And me as a salesman directly for this company, I, I get to hear things on one end, but I'm also a contractor in my same right. I've been a contractor for four years, and I own another company down south. So they send me these type of uh, pamphlets and things like that, like a business owner. So right. I'm able to convey some of those things that are going on down in Sarasota, mm -hmm. that are going on in Lee County, that are going on in Miami-Dade, West yep. Palm, and work with a couple of my business contacts and stuff. And we all pretty much find out, you know, we ask each other. Yep. You don't have to tell me the price that you're coming in with the enclosure, but about how much did you have to fluctuate to figure it out? Right. Yeah, that's that's great. Uh, Chris Hatfield here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. I'm your host, Brandon Rimes, and uh, the uh, screen man in studio today. So uh, what about, I was going to ask you about the – so you have operations down in Lee County, the Collier County area. Did you guys see a lot of effect from that storm last year? Oh, by all means. Mm -hmm. Anybody that's in the aluminum industry that – I mean – Pool enclosures, they pretty much cascade all the way up to Jacksonville. Yeah. And anybody that builds pool enclosures, they all got the call from everywhere. Lee yeah. County and Collier County, they want the best. They wanted everybody to come down and build some pretty big enclosures. Yeah. I mean, I've been down in that area. That's where I'm born and raised. Yep. And they build big, massive enclosures over big, massive pools the same way that we do up here on the coast. And those people, you know, they... they needed to have everything put right back in place luckily is a luxury you know a pool enclosure we're the last thing to go on we're finished yeah. carpenters so most of the time there's a lot of other bridges that need to be crossed right after a big hurricane like that right. and you can kind of put the uh, the pool enclosure a little bit on the back burner till you can get electricity roof running water other things like that right but it has not slowed down my boss is actually down in collier county today yeah yeah, that's uh, I'm from the uh, Hendry County, so okay. just, just east, you know, from a small town mm. called LaBelle out east. Oh, I know where LaBelle is, Tigers, yeah. huh? You're familiar with that? Well, that's Clewiston. Oh, Clewiston, yeah. Tigers. LaBelle's the Cowboys. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> I went to, uh, I was from Northport, but I went to Venice High, the Indians. Okay, nice. Oh, we played you guys quite a few times. Yeah, yeah. So now the, it kind of comes into play also with Ruth here, where uh, if people want to access some of their home equity to uh, put it back into the home, you know, they can still access that through a, a refinance, maybe oh, even a home equity line. I'm not sure if you're doing home equity lines or not. But. <clears throat> I do have those available, but, you know, my loan size limits are going to be different than the smaller limits that maybe a bank can give you of 20000 or or something. <clears throat> right. So the way that I look at that, and I will advise a client that way, um, you know, to go to your bank and, you know, when it's in that form. I always analyze the numbers to see if mathematically it works out in their favor and what their options are. Right. So as as much as um, screen uh, rooms and additions that are outside, I mean, single repair, you know, yeah. whatever. I mean, if you want to do a home improvement, something that's going to bring value to your home, add value to if you're one to sell it down the road because these are things that are going to be valuable to other people it's also going to be valuable to your enjoyment in the property and you can do it in today's environment even with rising rates where we are right and still still have a comfortable payment and not have to break the bank um as long as you have the equity there and if we do it subject to 
um, say an appraisal yeah. like like it was already existed, mm-hmm. we may see the higher value as if it were there. Nice. And then we work together in combination with our contractors to get it done, and then close on the loan and pay everything. Can off. you do that with a pool as well? Subject to? Uh, no, I can if if the um, pool contractor is willing, or we have interim financing to take care of, and then we satisfy that loan. Nice. So it would only be a small loan for a short time. Nice. Okay. Cool. All right. Good stuff. Ruth Watkins, TeamGoLoans.com. Chris Hatfield, aka the Screen Man, uh, here. Tampa Screens and Aluminum here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, and uh, we have eleven things to do indoors on a rainy day uh, coming up in our Feel Good Story of the Week as well. So stay with us, Consumer Quarterback Show, Consumer. QB.com. Hey, this is Grant Cardone, and you're listening to Consumer Quarterback Show, hosted by my friend Brandon Rhymes. Do not touch that dial. I'll come right through the radio and grab your throat. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Ian Beckles here with my man. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. And we're back. Brandon Rhymes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, Platinum MVP Realty, helping you win in any marketplace. That is our number one goal. I want to give a shout out to our friends here in South Tampa with Replenish IV Solutions, the science of nutritional balance. Uh, we've got Steve Gunnan and his uh, wife, uh, Lisa, over there uh, do a great job. They do these uh, awesome uh, IVs. They put an IV in you and it just fills you up with all types of great vitamins and uh, helps you stay healthy and well. Do they make and, house uh, calls? <laughs> yeah, they do, actually. They do. They have, a, they have a system where they can do that as well. Fatigue fighter, weight loss, anti-aging, health and wellness, amino acids, and extras. And uh, so they have a great job there. They do a great job. I come in there uh, at least once a month or so and, and uh, get that uh, IV hooked up. And you just sit there and you know catch up I on your emails them, or something. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> great. Replenish IV Come Solutions, over daily. <laughs> Gandy Boulevard in South Tampa, and they do make house calls. So uh, all you have to do is check them out on our Facebook page and our uh, website, ConsumerQB.com, one of our show partners there, longtime friends of the program. And we're back here in studio, so we're going to talk about uh, things that you can do in Tampa Bay, 11 things to do in Tampa Bay on a rainy day. Oh, oh. And we have our feel-good story of the week. Let's go ahead and jump into our feel-good every day. We want to tell you something positive in our feel-good story of the week. Tell me something good. Packers running back pushes elderly woman in wheelchair at airport. Green Bay Packers running back Aaron Jones is receiving a lot of love on social media 
for assisting a woman at Appleton International Airport in Wisconsin. On Monday, Jones was photographed pushing a woman in her wheelchair through the airport by a fellow traveler and apparent Packers fan. Just watched Packers Aaron Jones push a random lady through the Appleton Airport because there was no there was no one there to push. Go Pack Go, Mamika captioned her photo on Twitter. <laughs> Twitter users praised the running back for his kindness. Another reason why I love being a Packers fan, his parents praised him right. His parents raised him right, right, tweeted at O10 Courtney. You can easily judge the character of a man by how he treats those who can do and who can do nothing for him. Ron Clements wrote, Jones, Jones, 23, is entering his second season with the Green Bay Packers after a breakout rookie year. Cool, cool deal. Cool stuff. All right, so uh, we got Ruth Watkins here in studio, TeamGoLoans.com, Chris Hatfield, a.k.a. The Screen Man, Tampa, Screens and Aluminum. All right, so we've been getting our fair share of rain out yeah. there. So uh, we every day, you know, we often do these uh, top tens, and so this one's 11 things to do indoors okay. on a rainy I mean, day. Okay, we can go like here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, so it's going to be family say, feud style. Yeah, ben, yeah Ben's watch. <laughs> well, we and this one's actually kind of geared towards local Oh, to places in Tampa. Oh, okay. Yeah, I you so meant, not like, on your own show house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but what, what do you Boggle. got? What's something that you guys do on a rainy day? Okay, besides work, if I have to go catch yeah, up on work. Yeah, right? yeah. If it's in the house, it's, it's been watching and maybe maybe napping. That's that's good to hear in the rain. If it's outside, um, you know. Again, it usually is in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out, watching football, it's watching some sports. Right, it's, it's doing that. Getting together with, uh, you know, people that I know, my community, my family. Cool. I just got into home ownership, so I planted some grass out back. So every time that it rains, I just sit there and go, yes. You're, like, you're happy. It's, That's it's it. It's yeah, I watered be it now. all last year. It was horrible. Yeah. Brown. Now this year, I'm like, I don't have to do anything. This nice. is awesome. So we got there's some some ideas here from this article. So what, we what need have we got them, in there, Bray? Because <laughs> well, there's some, there's a lot of cool things to do. Go ahead, Bray. As you dodge puddles the rest of the rainy season, here are some indoor play areas around Tampa Bay to consider. But a word of advice: call first to make sure they aren't closed for summer camp, and check if there's a long wait behind other families. There are obvious or there are the obvious choices like mall play areas, bowling, ice and roller rinks, and the movies. But here are some other ideas. So, consider the huge trampoline arenas to burn off energy. Most kids are thoroughly worn out within an hour of literally bouncing off the walls. Check out Boeing Jump Center and Airheads Trampoline Arena. Yes, you got those indoor trampoline places. Those are cool. Uh, <laughs> let's see, what else we have here? Skate park. So, a good chunk of well-known skateboard facility is actually indoors. You got a QZAR Arcade. Laser tag. You got this both is, the Tampa Bay Grand Prix, uh, one over off of Ulmerton and the other one over by the fairgrounds. And I can definitely tell you that's a lot of Are fun. those indoors too? Oh, yeah. 55 oh, nice. miles an hour in less than three seconds, all electric. Wow. And oh. you get a printout. So you can bring one, two, three people with you, and everybody gets a judge by their printouts how well they did on their laps. It's that's a lot cool. of fun. And then try to beat themselves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you can see a projector screen coming around the corner each time. Nice. This one's interesting right here. Escape rooms. Oh, Players yeah. in groups of two to eight must work together to find clues, crack codes, and solve puzzles to escape. Solve puzzles to escape the room before time runs out. Two in the area include the Great Escape Room in Tampa, and then the Tampa Bay Great Escape Room. There's one downtown Clearwater. Yeah, there's yeah. one over in um, Newport Ritchie. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's and, another one up there. Yeah, cool. there is, and uh, <laughs> there's one over on Sheldon as during well. During one of those Sunday rainy bar days, <laughs> we were yeah, we go. were looking at the pamphlet and then your room choices, and one of them was the um, you had to break the code to stop the pop, uh, pop Ap apocalypse the apocalyptic yeah. Um, Zombies. Uh, zombies coming at you, right? <laughs> yeah. Now, can you imagine? You know that they're not there, right? But you're in a room trying to like go and yeah. get out and make sure it doesn't happen. That would still be intense. <laughs> Freaking out. <laughs> and be like, no. Yeah. yeah. Extreme Adventures Family Fun Center. Hard to get out. <laughs> so that one's a what? Did indoor dodgeball, soccer arena, arcade. In Lando Lakes. Lando Lakes. What else we have on the list here? Vertical Ventures so Indoor in Climbing Gym now has locations near Tampa International Airport and in St. Petersburg. Glazer's Children's Museum in uh, Hillsborough County, downtown. Florida Aquarium Channel Side. 
Got the Tampa Bay History Center, Smith, uh, the Smithsonian Travel Exhibit. And they've got the Columbia Restaurant in there. That's the best part about that. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Some nice uh, Cuban food. Absolutely. As well as that, they also have the Museum of Science and Industry, also known as Mosey. Cool. And last but not least? South Florida Museum. South Florida Museum. That's Bradenton. Yep. Cool. So a lot of things to do we on these rainy list. days. That yeah. makes you, remind you to do it. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, all right, let's go ahead and jump into our lightning round here and the finish up strong. Round. I am so good at lightning rounds. I majored in lightning rounds. Alrighty, so top tips, nuggets of advice, or uh, business overview. Okay, so um, I do want to shout out to uh, anybody who's not necessarily happy in their in their life as an originator, somebody who um, would like to see their their career take uh, a better approach at uh, you know helping others and also helping themselves in the process. And um, I have lots of. Uh, <laughs> I have uh, uh, lots of a uh, dialogue that I would love to have with a person with an open mind who wants to take themselves places. So please uh, reach out to me if you want to have a chat at uh, teamgoloans.com. Shoot me an email. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's a good opportunity right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I want to go like that. I'm like, okay, time time. The, I keep yep. going. <laughs> it's just everybody have patience right now with the rain going on and everything and the construction yep. and driving and everything. We all need to slow up just a little bit and realize that it's not going to happen immediately. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but it's going to happen next week. Yeah. So everybody just take a step back and slow down. Yeah. How about permitting? How, speaking of slowing down, is permitting permitting's not still? having a problem really? at all. We're not backed up in permitting by any means. They're caught up. Once the snowbirds usually head out around Easter, that's when they start to get caught back up. So it's not a matter of that. It's just with any kind of concrete work, if we're digging into the ground, yep. four inches or more, it's seepage. And we can't put concrete down when it's raining. So. Yeah. Gotta yeah. have a little patience. Yeah, you do, and you you got to pump the the groundwater out a lot of cases too. Uh, absolutely, and, but that's a good time to at least figure out in the rainy season where your problems are, and we can try to avoid those ahead of time by yeah. putting in some gutter diverters or even some seven inch gutter if you need it. Right, right, yeah, that's awesome. Gutters are important. Absolutely, very important. Gutter caulking is important. And proper <laughs> installation is important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure, that's right. Um, so. So yeah, you know it's a great time of year. You know, can you think? Can you believe it? Only about thirty days away, and we're halfway through. I know. I was thinking that already. yesterday, and I'm like, I don't know where the time goes. Uh, every single week, just is over. You know. Yeah. Um, but I did want to say it's like you work so much, right? And yeah. And and the things that you do online, and the people that get to know you, use those uh, tools and. Just like the leads, just people searching your your site at Platinum MVP, the leads that are coming in are are insane, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's like so, um, you know. That's another reason why I think the opportunity is so great because when you can give people a diverse set of leads that they can actually go out and create that create that business, and you can give them that foundation to answer any question and guide them the right way, um, you know. That's exactly what I'm looking to do, and and you know people. Uh, benefit by that when people do their job with their heart and also you know risk reward and what you give comes back to you and it's right. a whole philosophy thing yeah. you know so i'm looking for like-minded people right yeah i think that's a big part of it is finding a team that's a good fit for you mm -hmm. uh you know both on the on the mortgage side ruth looking for uh loan originators team go loans dot com uh, platinum mvp realty we're looking for good agents that want to help uh help us you know take care of our, our clients out there grow your business grow your sphere of influence as well and uh, i want to thank ruth watkins for coming in team go loans.com mortgage expert chris hatfield the screen man here as well tampa screens and aluminum say hello to fred for us absolutely thank you Brandon. And, uh, yeah tell him hey <laughs> <laughs> and uh braylon's going to close us out today thanks for listening to my daddy's show please consider going out and doing a random act of kindness for someone such as packing up food or clothing and uh carrying it with you to and from your commute hand it to that person that you see in need uh, be a force for good in the community. Uh, check us out online. We'd love for you to follow us on Facebook, Brandon Rhymes PA, Consumer Quarterback Show as well on Facebook.com, uh, Instagram and Twitter at Brandon Rhymes One, and connect with us as well. We'd love for you to uh, come to our events. We've got June 21st. We've got the big event coming up. going to be a lot of fun, some great networking and some food, and uh, have some fun with you. So Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer 
consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Contact Brandon Rhymes at 813-670-7372. That's 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show. Weekday afternoons at 5 on AM 1380. The Biz. Are you a real estate agent looking to take your business to the next level and supercharge your marketing? Hi, I'm Brandon Rimes, owner of Platinum MVP Realty and host of the Real Estate Quarterback Show, syndicated radio and TV show talk program on iHeartRadio, 1025 The Bone, daily five o'clock drive time on 1380 The Biz, and our TV show is on WeBeam TV. We're looking for real estate agents that want to join our team and supercharge their marketing, utilizing some of our innovative strategies. We utilize the Real Geeks platform, Facebook marketing, internet marketing, and a lot of the traditional methods as well. Postcard mailers mailed for you. Postage, signage, business cards, all paid for by the company. Aggressive real estate splits and ways to help you win in any marketplace. We need you to go out, take applications, and work our plethora of leads that we're generating on a daily basis. Reach out by clicking the form below and we'd love to have a confidential interview with you. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978.